Hi there, I'm Jack from Twinkle and today we're looking at some activities your learners can try to have a go at identifying fronted adverbials and to practice adding commas to correctly separate these in sentences. Begin with this collection of teaching ideas, a great place to start to get some ideas on activities to practice placing a comma after fronted adverbials by engaging your learners with some games and challenges. You might try putting a short, simple sentence on display and tasking your learners with coming up with different opening adverbial phrases. Or you might play a game like pass the sentence, where you give a group of learners a starting word to an opening adverbial phrase. Children can take it in turns to keep adding to the phrase until one learner shouts comma at the end of the fronted adverbial before continuing the sentence. Each activity idea also comes with suggestions on how to differentiate the task for extra support or for a trickier challenge. You might suggest opening words to learners to begin an adverbial phrase, or challenge budding writers to add additional clauses demarcated by extra commas to their sentences. For a fun way to have a go at identifying fronted adverbials, and to learn about where to place a comma correctly in the sentence, have a go at these PowerPoint quizzes. The first quiz presents your learners with some near identical sentences, but the comma is in a different place each time. Which of the four sentences correctly separates the fronted adverbial? And in the second PowerPoint quiz, your learners will be tasked with correctly adding the comma in the right place. Fronted adverbials or not? In this activity, you will hide different statements around your classroom or learning area, some fronted adverbials and some not. Your learners will hunt for the statements. It's then up to them to correctly identify them as fronted adverbials or not. If it's a fronted adverbial, the learner should write their initials on the statement and put it back in its hiding place. At the end of the activity, collect the sentences and count up the correctly written initials to see who won the game, and then use it as a way to identify misconceptions. There is also this comprehensive activity booklet, full of activities for every stage of identifying and writing sentences with fronted adverbials. Start with connecting fronted adverbials to the sentences that make the most sense. Practice writing fronted adverbials to complete the sentences. Practice inserting commas into the correct place. And at the end, your learners can try rewriting a paragraph with their own fronted adverbials. There's even a section of terminology to support teachers and parents with some of these tricky keywords and concepts explained. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to comment or review if you found these resources useful and join us again soon.